Now that we have all of our upgrades done and the King firmware installed, let's go over how to level the bed. Obviously, start off by turning on your printer, and then if you want, you can preheat your nozzle as well. I've never really noticed a difference with preheating it or not, but some people say you should. Anyway, let's see how we're looking before any adjustments. I know mine's already dialed in, but we'll go through the whole process here. Click the scroll wheel, go to motion, homing, then auto home. Make sure you have nothing in the way of your probe or the offset will be wrong, hence why I removed my paper. Once it's done homing, click on your scroll wheel again, go to motion, move axis, move Z, move 10 millimeters, and scroll left to zero. Be smarter than me and slide your paper underneath before zeroing it out. Makes it a lot easier. Now that you have your nozzle zeroed out and homed, Let's make the micro adjustments as needed. Go back to motion, then bed leveling, scroll down to probe Z offset. And this allows you to make micro adjustments of the nozzle. Raise it up so your paper or whatever you're using effortlessly slides underneath, then set the nozzle down one click at a time until you have your desired nozzle height. I like to have a decent amount of resistance on the paper as it's rather thick. If you're using something like a receipt or something thinner, you'd want less resistance on it. Once that's done, go back and scroll down to store settings and click the wheel to save them. You should hear a noise. Now that we have our baseline set, let's make sure our bed is trammed properly and click on bed tramming. It'll go through its process at each corner. If it tells you to adjust the wheel, go ahead and do so and adjust the wheels as, it, as necessary. And you can do this more than once if you need or want to, just to make sure everything is properly within spec. I typically only do it once, but some people will do it two or three times. So for example here, it wants you to adjust the bed to tram it out a little bit. So you just use your scroll wheel and you know go the proper direction, unlike me. So that way it causes the probe to actuate. And typically speaking, if you tram one corner, the opposing corner, so in this case, I tram the bottom left, the top right will be out of spec, which you'll see here in just a moment. I'll have to adjust the scroll wheel for that one too. And then I'll ask you if everything's within tolerance, you click yes. And once the bed is trammed, it'll go through the and home the nozzle. Then it'll probe the bed at all 25 points. 
We're going to speed this up a bit as it takes uh, about a minute and a half to go through. Once it's done, you'll want to go ahead and go back to motion, homing, and then auto home again. Then once it's done auto humming, just like we did last time, go back to motion, move axis, move Z, move 10 millimeters, and zero it out again. And I did this twice, forgive me to put my paper in, but that's fine. Then we want to go ahead and do the same process as above with the probe Z offset and get the tension correct on the nozzle once again. And then of course, once it's all done, make sure to store your settings and do a test print. And that's all. If you like the content I'm putting out, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all new content that comes out. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.